Okay, we're out here on day two, uh, DFX and Miss H and myself, another permission of DFXs. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. And uh, he's already on the board, as you can see. He's got uh, two 58s, a Williams cleaner, fired uh, round ball, yeah, mm -hmm. and then a nice uh, eagle, which was on the surface. Very nice. Well done. Thank you. DFX has just found a. Uh, a 58 and I've just found a 58 very cool just like my second 58 I can tell you quite honestly I dig this type of bullet than the 45 7 is and whatever but very cool nice drop Miss H just hollered that she got a button Yes, you do. You got an iron four hole. Well done. Thank you. Good job. As you can see, DFX is uh, kicking our butts today again. <laughs> but then again, I always come out of the shoot a little slow, don't I? Yeah. So yeah. I'm not worried, and it's not a competition. So yeah. that's awesome. Five buttons so far. Oh no, four buttons and uh, part of a shoulder scale, yeah. and then a ring type thing. Brass or some sort. Yeah. So, and you should have dug a Henry's too, right? Yeah. Said, yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. We'll keep digging. Yeah. Finally, I'm on the board with a button too. Got myself an Eagle Eye cuff button. Happy with that? It comes complete with shank. Shank. Myself a tent grommet from one of the tents that were probably out here at some time. Very cool. Well done. Thanks. All right, I've just dug a perfectly dropped 58 caliber. Hey, you have to excuse the cam work a little bit. I'm using my cell phone, my uh, Kodak Sportsman that I've had for the last, oh, I don't know, five, six years and was uh, held together with electrician's tape. I actually gave up the ghost when I finished the video last night from yesterday's hunt. So, uh,. Uh, the location we're at, there's nowhere that sells video cameras, so I'm using my cell phone. So, again, I'll, you have to excuse me if the camera work is not up to par yet. I am in training, so to speak. Anyway, cool. Perfectly dropped 58 caliber. I'll take it. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, the spot I'm at right now is the spot where I found my belt plate and then all those other bullets. Um, DFX advised me he came back here and found more. And I just dug two more from the exact same location. So three have come right out of there. Three more 58s. So I'm going to work this area now because I got the HF coil, which I didn't have before when I was here. So I'm going to really pound this area now, see how many I can find. Okay, now I just found the uh, top part, the loop. What do you call this part? The twisty part, <laughs> the keeper to a shoulder scale. Now the same location down this slope right here is where I found the, the spade part of the shoulder scale the last time I was here. So obviously, uh, well not obviously, but we can draw the conclusion that it probably comes from the same shoulder scale. So that's cool, I'll take it. Okay, I've just got myself a eagle eye cuff button. Correction. General service cuff button. Very cool. Very happy with it. Took a break and coming out to another spot on this site and bingo. Drop 58. Huh. You know that one might be fired. Yeah, I see rifling on that one. Plus the uh, part of the uh, cone is disintegrated. Interesting. It's cool. I'll take it though. There you go. We're out at the impact area for this location, and uh, I've already found a uh, fired. I believe it's a 5070, and also a fired 58 caliber. So that's cool. Keep looking. 
Well, it looks like Miss H is finally on the board and she's, she's found something that you don't usually find out here, out west of the Mississippi, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, and it is the business end to a Williams cleaner. It would have a lead disc that came out and in between that and this, there would have been a zinc disc. And the theory was every 10th round they fired these and that zinc disc would push all the lead out the rifling. Um, I guess it, it's, it's up to, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's just say they don't think it was that successful. Yeah. So they ended up being fired anyway, just with nearly willy nilly. So anyway, that's a great find. Well done. Well done, Miss H. Thank you. So now I found the back end of a Williams cleaner and it's still got the zinc, um, disc as I was explaining with the one that Miss H found. So what we'll do is I'll take this one and I'll put it inside. We'll clean out her bullet and we'll slide this into it and then she'll have a complete Williams clean. Very cool. There's the zinc disc. Very cool, very cool. And we're gonna introduce the new metal detecting show, Hunting with Miss H. In the hole. Okay, Miss H's got a signal in the impact area. Oh, there you oh go, gosh, 58. Well done. Nice. So, Miss H has got herself a 558 caliber. Right on. Well done. All right, Miss H has just dug herself another 558 caliber. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Tell they were fired into sand. I mean, mm -hmm. look, there's barely any marks on them at all. All right. Well done. Thank you. All right, Miss H has got another Williams cleaner. This one's in great condition. So the backing that I found, we'll put in that for you. We right. have a complete one. Nice. Well done. Thank you. And now it's my turn to, uh, Digger Williams. Very cool. Actually, you see where this one was ramrodded in. I gotta remember my camera's right here, so. Gotta move this over a little bit. Okay, we're done. And, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, what a day. What a lovely day. So we will uh, we'll start with DFXs. Um, we got a uh, w, WM Rogers spoon, silver play spoon. Six buttons, eagle buttons to include a uh, five coat, one uh, eagle eye cuff. You got, is that two Henry's you got? That's a Henry's too. Yeah. So you got two Henry's. 5070, two Spencers. Uh, you know, I got one of those too. Yeah. Got a, uh, a couple of pieces of, uh, a couple of um, pea caps, uh, Williams cleaners, round ball, fired and dropped 58s, and a complete Williams cleaner right there. Uh, like I said, we. Uh, I think we found the impact area for this location. So, all in all, it was a good day. A lot of lead. Yes, it was. A lot of lead. Lead day. Lead day. And, uh, okay, so on to uh, Miss H's. And she got, she got her, uh, oh, you got one that, no, that's a grommet. Okay. That's a grommet, that's yeah, grommet. She found a uh, antelope horn. Yeah, no, because it's not an antler, it's a horn. Yeah. Yeah, yep. Uh, she was on fire with the Williams cleaners, especially the business ends. She got uh, eight of those, and then she also got eight 58 calibers, a bunch of square nails, a uh, tank grommet, a couple of decaps, and not to be outdone with the bullet, she, uh, with the button, she comes off with an iron button. So, and myself, I got a bunch of 558s, uh, rivet, of rim fires, including a 57 and a Spencer. Uh, I got 
two of the front ends of the wings cleaner, four of the back ends, only three of them had the zinc disc on. These are the eight drops that I got earlier. Drop 44 and 36 teardrop pistol. Unknown lead, no clue. It's obviously impacted. That's a heck of a big bullet. We don't know what it is. And then um, scrap lead, P caps, top end of a uh, 